What's going on YouTube? Today, uh, my take on the God Guides are going to be a little bit different. This time, what I'm going to do is focus on actually describing what you're going to be doing with the God, and then I'm going to upload a video of me playing the God so that you get a general idea. Um, so this just allows me to focus more on describing the God, what I'm going to be doing, what you're going to be building, and so on and so forth. So this is one of the gods that I did recommend in my um, beginner's guide for Smite. So um, yeah, go ahead and get started. So with Bologna, what I tend to do is do a point of my one, shield, scourge, point into my bludgeon again, alt, and then max bludgeon as fast as you can. Um, this is where things get a little weird. So. If I have a reason to use my disarm, so say if I'm playing solo and I'm fighting an uh, Amaterasu, a, uh, a um, Osiris, maybe some ADCs, I would level my uh, Scourge. But if I'm not, I like to level my Shield Bash instead. Um, outside of that, there's no real reason to go Shield Bash. But I mean, if you have reason to use your three more, then I would say go with that because then you get more cooldown, disarm time is longer. But honestly, I like abusing the slow on this. It's really fun. So after that, I like to go point into my alt, finish the bludgeon, max this. This is the level route that I usually go. Um, wherever Shield Bash is, I would put Scourge in its place. If I was going uh, Scourge at level 8. So it really just depends on what you're doing. So with items. If I'm playing Conquest. Obviously the best choice to go is Warrior's Blessing. Unless if you're being a support or a jungle. Then you would pick the um, According Blessing. But this is also the same for any mode outside, outside of uh, Conquest. So, if I'm going to be a really high damage dealing Bologna, which I don't do quite often, but if you do in some situation, uh, I will cover a type of build that you want to aim for in that situation. I don't highly recommend it, but I mean, some people do it for fun, pub stomp, whatever. Um, you're going to be going attack or blessing in that situation. Or even if you would want to, you can go hunter, since you are a auto attack based god. It really comes down to your preference, um, what you're going to be doing more, if you're going to be hitting them bludgeons, or if you're going to use your auto attacks the most. Besides that, outside of Conquest, you want to be using Defender's Blessing. It gives you some early protection, some health, and it'll give you more health and mana along the way. You're going to be mitigating, da mitigating damage. You're going to be doing that anyways. So stack that up, get your health and mana. It'll be a nice little burst. 200 health in a starter item is pretty nice. Um... So, yeah, generally, outside of Conquest, you want to go Defender's Blessing in Conquest. When you're solo, you want to grab Warrior's Blessing. Um, so I'm going to put this in the situation that this is Conquest. Um, but you take accordingly on the actions that you would do otherwise. Um, so, what I like to do in this new meta, it really depends on... I don't like to go Tier 1 Boots. In older metas, I liked to because, I mean, it was 300 gold for probably, was it, uh, what does tier 1 boots give you? Um, tier 1 boots gives you 6 movement speed, 6% 6 movement speed for 500 gold. That's not really cutting it in the meta right now. What some people are doing is they have the Warrior's Blessing, they'll go, this is for Conquest, other things will change. Um, in other game modes, you'll just get your normal pots, but in Conquest, people are getting the mana, the health chalice, sorry, and, uh, multi-pots, or, uh, healing pots, because Warrior's Blessing, it does miracles for mana regen, and also you'll have a blue buff in, um, Conquest, otherwise disregard, so then if you're going... A normal game mode that isn't conquest. Uh, in a game, I would probably go defender's blessing, and then oh. uh, it, it, this is where building gets weird for warriors, especially like Bologna. Um, it all comes down to who you're playing against. If I'm playing against some physicals, I'm gonna go tier one breastplate. 
gives some pretty decent physical protections in early levels. So in, just in the early game, you'll have 30 protections, which is already a decent amount to deal with, considering that they'll have no penetration, their abilities are already hitting for nothing. Um, then, of course, you can go Bulwark, which is still, well, not Bulwark, uh, Talisman. And then get uh, as many pots as you can. Generally, I like to go health and uh, mana, maybe even multi, if you feel like you're going to be auto-attacking even more. Um, so, whatever you go first will be technically your second item. So, you'll have that tier 1 sitting there. And then, you can jump into Ninja or Warrior tab I, um, yet again, depending on how much you plan to be... You should be planning to auto-attack, but... I generally like to go for Warriors because it makes that bludgeon hit way, just a little bit harder, which is really nice. So, this is where builds get weird. It all depends on what you're playing against in lane, what do you feel like is going to be more of a threat early game. So, I'm going to put this in the situation that you're going to be playing with more physicals like you would in an average game. Um, so, Breastplate is really good. It's really... You, if you don't know what to build... You're playing against physicals. Breastplate is a very safe item. You don't have to worry about it not being good because for the majority, it will always be good. It's a very safe bet. On the other hand, if you're playing against people that are going to be using their auto attacks a lot, then I recommend uh, Hide of the Nemean Lion instead. Um, it'll make uh, them fighting you a lot harder, which is typically your job as a... Um, Warrior, so as a Bologna, you're going to be diving the back line, diving their ADCs. So Hide of the Nemean line isn't a bad pick, but generally I like to keep Breastplate instead. Um, at this rate, by the time you finish this item, I'm putting in the standpoint of Conquest, uh, you're going to be rotating by this point, most likely. If not, I mean, if you don't need to, then just farm up. But after this, I like to go a Magical item. You can either go Bulwark... Um, Genji's or if they have a healer go pestilence even if they're building anti-heal I like to go pestilence because it's just it puts um anti the lifesteal isn't necessarily that much in the first place it can be very helpful but whatever it is doing it makes it a lot worse than what it is so it's really nice to go anti-heal against people that are just life stealing because then it ruins their life steal even more or um People that have bad healing in the first place, like mm, Chiron. If you just want to be a bully, then just completely negate his healing that he has in his passive. Um, besides that, if you feel like you don't need to go anti-heal, uh, just go Bulwark. It'll save your life more often than not. Um, it's really because you can't escape by the uh, very low health, pretty much. So Bulwark can really help with that. Um, whatever you didn't, so I'm just going to put a, more often than not, I go a Pestilence, I'm just going to put that there, because Pestilence is, I, I like it, it's a good item. Um, this item here, I generally, it's always the same, I like to go Mantle, so it's kind of self-peel for yourself, um, without, you know, dropping any ulties or anything, if you're getting Dove on, it wouldn't hurt to get a Mantle, if they have more, uh, they CC you and they dive you off of that, then it wouldn't hurt to instead go for the uh, spirit robe. You will get more use out of it because they're if they uh, say if they're silencing you with Ganesh and they're just diving on you off of that, then spirit robe may be a better bet here because you're going to be getting the passive up faster. You're going to be getting more out of it. Um, but if they're not, if you're just playing like an average game and you're doing just fine, then uh, mantle is a pretty good item. This is where I like to go a utility item. So that's either utility for yourself, typically. So generally these are going to be health items. Um, so what I gen uh, what I like doing, and what a lot of people like doing, is going Stone of Gaia. It's a pretty good item. Um, most people have something that can trigger its passive. If they don't, then you should probably get something else. Uh, Wing Blade is a really nice bet as well if they have a lot of slows. Uh, so it's a lot of health, which is really important as a solo laner or as a warrior. But I'm going to put in the situation that you get Stone of Gaia since there are a decent amount of knockups in this game, so grabs and pulls, etc. Um, 
This is where, with this build, I'm just Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Oops. Alright. In this current build, these are all the stats that you have. So, if you are really getting away with being a frontline more, um, then... Like, if you're fine with the protections that you have, if you feel like you're not getting blown up that much, then, honestly, what I like doing, go on for all spam, especially on Bologna. Since you're going to be sticking on their back line, it's going to be, you're going to be really annoying with this uh, Frostbound. You're just going to completely bully your um, their ADCs or their mages, especially if they have um, no escapes, so if they have no leap stashes, etc. You're going to be really annoying with this Frostbound. So maybe to the point where you're going to force sprints all the time, or it's going to force them to get things that immune slows and so on and so forth. If not, then get defense for whatever is blowing you up. So, um, you know, if you're getting destroyed by a mage, for example, then maybe throw on a Genji's. Um, since it'll help you with your magical protections and so on and so forth. Um, so I'm going to go on to the same point that you are now facing a guardian in the solo or if mages are blowing you up more. So if it, if you're playing against somebody like, um, uh, in some miracle you're playing against a hell solo or an Anubis solo, they exist, it happens, um, just throw on a pestilence, it's really good, if not, then the best bet that you would have is a Genji's Guard. Yet again, like the Breastplate, it's around the same price range. You're still getting your CDR. So if you do have blue buff, you would have still 20% with this. Well, with the Breastplate, you would have 30. Um, so that's a really safe pick with that. Yet again, this is the same standpoint. You're going to be rotating at this point, so you're going to be fighting the other physicals in the map. Yet again, you want a Breastplate, most likely, or a Nemean. Um, for Xbox, uh, PC already has it, we're going to be getting it tomorrow, but Mid-Guardian is getting a buff, so if you are fighting ADCs and you really want to annoy them like a Scotty, so this would be really annoying against a Scotty, because it just completely screws her up. So, Mid-Guardian is also, um, I'll show a good place for it here in a moment. Let's go on the same path that you would be going. Uh, this would be a good point for your uh, mid guardian because you already have your main your core defense online so what would be really nice is a mid guardian it would really cause you to be super annoying for the adcs maybe auto attack assassins in the game it just because next patch this isn't um moment this isn't the passive that Mid Guardian is having next pat um, patch. Instead of 30% chance, every auto attack stacking up to three times gives 10%. So if they auto attack you three times, they're guaranteed to have their movement speed and their attack speed reduced by 30%, which is insane. They're going to have to have quite a bit of movement speed or attack speed to combat that. Um, so... It's really big, especially if you're going to be diving their hunters the most, which is, you probably should. It just really helps. Um, so, just like before, if you're playing against teams that have slows, then you're going to be building the wing blade, um, frostbound, whatever, your situational items that are typically based around utility and maybe more tank if you need it. So that would be all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.